I feel like every song the Chainsmokers release at some point becomes the biggest song in the world. I mean, look at these stats. We have 2 billion streams on something like this. Closer has over 2 billion, 1 billion on Don't Let Me Down. And this is why I wanted to do a melodic breakdown of one of their biggest songs, something just like this, and show a couple really useful things that they did in the melody, chords, and arrangement that I do believe are the reasons this song and a lot of their other songs are so successful. This song starts out in typical Chainsmoker fashion with a dronal guitar melody that hits on this D note. The other note we hear is this A. Now these aren't just any two notes. What's interesting is that the song is written in B minor, but these notes are the tonic and dominant notes of the relative major scale, which is D major. And when we bring these guitar notes together with the chords, which are G major, A major, B minor, and back to A major, we get this harmony. Now what you're hearing is a melody that's rooted in a major key and a chord set that is in a minor key. So together we get that beautiful uplifting sound. But here's where things get interesting. So in most songs, an artist will try to phase a drone out or keep it the same and just build around it. But what the Chainsmokers did is they just increased the energy of the drone melody every four bars. And they did this a couple different ways. They got rid of the guitar when the vocals happened, which is four bars into the song. And then they replaced the guitar with a piano, but instead of triggering quarter notes like this, the drone doubles in speed and starts triggering eighth notes. Things are already starting to get sparkly, I can feel it. So this is where I started to see one of the most unique things that I've ever seen in a pop song, which is taking this single note melody and keeping it interesting over an entire song. Because if we move four bars later in the song to where the hook starts, the drone doubles. So we take this, and another layer, an octave up, starts to happen. but it doesn't end there. Real quick guys, I just dropped a brand new free guide called the seven step chord building blueprint. I guarantee this guide will have you building beautiful chord progressions in no time. It's free in the description below. Let's get back to the video. To increase the energy of this hook or chorus even more, the pianos start triggering in eighth notes, I think it is. The Chainsmokers are really good at enhancing the harmony. So what happens here in the chords in the hook of the song is the fifth in each chord is doubled and so is the third. And both of these doubled notes are put up an octave. So wait, ready to really make sure that I had the chords and drone right? I rewrote the melody in a uh, horn. That is just so cool. I'll never be Coldplay, but I can write a melody with a horn. So now we have a composition that starts here. builds up into this. Now what we can learn from this is how they get their listeners ready for the drop because the drop happens in the next section. Now this drop is where things get weird but pretty amazing at the same time. Now the drop plays the same chords that the pianos were playing but with a synth. But to add variation, a couple triggers were dropped, and the triggers were shortened a little bit. But this is what I find so fascinating about this drop. 
They kept the drone notes. That drone in the whole beginning of the song, they kept it in the drop, but they like hid it in there. So if we go into these chords, we get rid of every note above that D. And then we just replace those notes with a D that stays the same. Mind you, that D is the drone. Like, are you kidding me? And then, as if that wasn't enough harmonic goodness, we take the D, and then we put it on the dominant note of the relative major scale, which is the same thing we saw in the guitars in the intro. Like, are you kidding me? Like, nobody, nobody before that did that, ever. And then we throw a couple layers and we get this beautiful recognizable sound. So this kind of like bothered me a little bit when the song came out. Cause I'm over here doing all these tricks and making all these crazy melodies. And these guys are like, nah, we're gonna lead the drop with two notes and the song is gonna get over 2 billion views. It just made me want to quit. But anyway, the second half of the drop wraps up with a counter melody. It sounds like this. And there's another melody that comes in at the end of the song that I didn't feel like making. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. And as always, stay tuned for the next video.